Hey everybody, uh, this is Robert once again, welcoming you to another edition of Stratomatic Baseball Replay. And we've gone to the next uh, year in the baseball, and we're now in 1903. For 1903, I have decided to go straight to the World Series and play the first ever World Series baseball game. Now, the, we, all, the, we knew the American League came into being in 1901, but because of contract problems, there wasn't much they could do for the players to have a, a World Series played back in, in 1901 or 1902. But in 1903, they were finally able to get a World Series played. In the first World Series ever, it was the Pittsburgh Pirates. And the Boston Americans, uh, a.k.a. Red Sox, but they weren't known as the Red Sox yet. So, And it was a best of nine. Uh, of course, you all know that today's World Series is a best of seven, but it was a best of nine in, the, in 1903. So we're going to play tonight uh, the first ever World Series baseball game between Pittsburgh and Boston. And uh, the, we got the lineups set up by Stratomatic Baseball. And it's going to be Deacon Philippe versus Cy Young. And, of course, we all know who Cy Young is. I know, some putts that they've named a, a baseball award after for some odd reason. I don't know why. Welcome but, to the stadium for today's ball game. Let's play ball. And you can see there a background. That is Huntington Avenue grounds. That's where the Boston Americans played uh, back in the day before the days of uh, Fenway Park. So uh, you can see how, how the crowd is around everything, how uh, how the stands were. I mean, baseball, I mean, this is baseball still in pretty much in its, I wouldn't say exactly its infancy. Baseball, you know, was around back in the 1870s, you know, with the National League and plays, uh, teams like the Providence Grays, you know, the Baltimore, old Baltimore Orioles, you know, Brooklyn Atlantics, you know, but this was baseball, even though it wasn't its infancy, this was it's still kind of like in its, uh, maybe maybe it's maybe like a age of like five to ten I guess uh, perhaps I don't you can make, you can make your own uh, decisions on that uh, I've decided to utilize a baseball diagram which actually shows the players where they belong and how the uh, wall was set up at uh, Huntington Avenue uh, it's listed as a bad day there so that means that uh, uh, singles are going to be uh, down a little bit. So, but it looks like though that home runs though might uh, still be uh, might still be pretty good there. Although there really weren't that many of them. Remember, this is the dead ball era baseball, classic era baseball, where the home run was a, was was not it wasn't rare, but it was uncommon. Uh, in this game, it's going to be Cy Young, and let's uh, take a look at his card. Cy Young. In 1903, 28 wins, 9 losses, a 2.08 ERA. Uh, I would say if he was, if they cloned him today and he was pitching, uh, this guy would probably be maybe a $200 million pitcher. As you can see, he only get, has two columns, really, where he gives up a clean hit and that against lefties and righties. So he's going to be very tough to get through. I've decided to play uh, the Boston Americans in this because I want to manage with Cy Young. Let's go to the top of the first, and Ginger Beaumont is the leadoff batter. And he hits a ground ball to first, and there's one out, and that will bring up Fred Clark. And Fred Clark I want to look at real quick. He's got some ability. He batted 351, five homers, had a high slugging percentage. Yeah, 532 slugging percentage, almost unheard of, really in today's league for a whole season. And it's a bunt. And Collins is going to field it and fires the first, and he's out. So they try to he tries to bunt for a hit, and he's thrown out. That'll bring up uh, Tommy Leach. And Cy Young gets him out on a fastball. So we go to the bottom of the first inning. Deacon Philippe is the starting pitcher uh, for the Pittsburgh Pirates. 25 wins, 9 losses, 2.43 RA, a couple of saves. Um, 123 strikeouts. Now, remember, even those days, the strikeout was still kind of, what was, uh, it was common, but not as like it is now. The strikeout was still pretty much uh, a, a common, uh, a, a, kind of like a common to uncommon thing. And we all know Deacon Philippe could definitely, uh, he could definitely throw the ball. Patsy Daughtry will lead off for the uh, Americans, batted 331. Uh, had four homers. Let's get back to the game. 
And it looks like it's a fly ball to right. Seabrook is going to catch it for the out. And that'll bring up Jimmy Collins. He pops out to uh, Leach at uh, third. And Chick Stahl, who we've seen in an earlier, we've seen in an earlier game, uh, I believe when I did uh, Boston Americans in one of my other, if really replays, uh, Beaumont is going to camp under it. And he's going to make the catch of this one out. So no runs. We go to the top of the second. Now let's take a look at this guy. Uh, introduced to you, Honus Wagner. Uh, let's see, 355 average, five home runs, uh, slugging percentage of 518. This wasn't one of Honus Wagner's, this was, well, I, really, I should rephrase that. This was one of his best years. Uh, look at the look at the third column of just righty pitchers, double, double, triple, homer. I mean, so, I mean this guy didn't, if, basically, if, a, if the dice land on his batting card, he's probably going to wind up getting on base. And in this case, it's a routine fly ball to left. Daughtry will make the catch for one out. And we'll go to Kitty Bransfield, who gets a stru who gets struck out. That's a whip for Cy Young. And the split cards come up a hit hard to the right of Parrot, but diving Collins. So it's a three up and three down inning for the Pirates. And now that'll bring up the Americans. Here's Buck Freeman. And there's a Baltimore chop over Deacon Philippe. And Freeman has a base hit. So there's a runner on first there for the Americans. Let's see. Uh, is, he a, is, he, can I, is he a threat to steal? Stealing C? No. Uh, about parent. What does he have hit and run a B? All right. We'll just swing away. Yeah, let's see if we find out. And there's a clean base hit. And we'll send the lead runner. 1 to 16 chance. They'll let him run. So it's, it's runners at first and third. And nobody out here in the bottom of the second. So... Candy Lachance will come up, and there's a base hit to left for Lachance, so that will score the run. Uh, we'll send the lead runner with a 70% with a 70% chance, and so again, runners at first and third. But the Boston Americans are up one nothing on a big score, and Hobie Ferris will come up to bat, and he hits a ground ball to second. Richie makes the play, throws it back to first for the double play, but another run does come in to score. And so now it's 2 nothing Americans. Lou Seeger. And the split cards come up a, a nice 15. He gets some good win up, but it's going to be caught. So at the end of two, it's Boston 2 and Pittsburgh 0. We go to the third. And Jimmy Sebring will lead it off for the Pirates. Split card comes up a 2, and this one is going to be gone. So Jimmy Sebring blasts one. The deep right center, and I'm sure some of those fans are going to go get that ball. And Pittsburgh is right on the board there, a, a rare home run off of Cy Young. So that was a big hit. So the Pittsburgh cuts the lead in half. Ed Phelps will come up to bat. And it's a routine grounder to short, one down. Now we'll bring up Deacon Philippe. He strikes out. And Ginger Beaumont, who is 0 for 1. And that is a ground ball. And Lachance isn't going to get this one, so it's going to be a base hit for Beaumont. So the Pirates get a runner on first. Fred Clark will come up to bat. And that's a routine fly to right. Freeman's going to make the play. So bottom of the third, it's Boston 2, Pittsburgh 1. Cy Young will come up to bat, and he was able to get a couple of hits here and there. But instead, you're going to walk the pitcher. So that's just... Not something you're supposed to do. Never really, never walk the pitcher. Even though this is classic baseball, still don't walk the pitcher. Daughtry is up. And he hits a fly ball to Clark. And Clark is going to make the play. So it's an easy out. One down. Young, I'm not stealing with my pitcher. So he can stay right where it is. Collins will come up the bat there. And he strikes out. And he's called out on strikes, and I'm actually going to make a quick change here. I mean, I love the – I actually do like uh, how uh, they do the the play-by-play, -play, but I just want to make it simple for all you people. Okay, get in, get out. You know, what? glad you're watching my video. Get in, get out, get on with your lives. Uh, Chick Stahl will bat. And split card comes up in 18. It's a line out to the shortstop, and that ends the inning. So 2-1 still. Uh, top of the fourth. This is the first, once again, this is the first ever World Series game in his, baseball history between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Boston Americans here at Huntington Avenue Grounds. Tommy Leach will bat. 
lead off for the Pirates, and he flies out to left. It'll bring up Honus. And Honus, there you go. Uh, there's a clean single for Honus Wagner. And let's have a look at him again real quick. Is he a threat? Oh, yeah, he's definitely a threat to steal. So we got we, we have to uh, – definitely has to be held. And Kitty Bransfield there, he can't, it says he can't get the lead. Uh, Bransfield's going to bat. And a split card comes up in 19. It's a line out to Parent at short. And there are now two away as Wagner stays at first. Claude Ritchie will bat. And it's going to be up to it'll be up to uh, Krieger. It's a wild pitch, so Krieger can't make the play, and uh, Wagner move up to second. So uh, Pittsburgh has a runner in scoring position. Claude Ritchie still at the plate, and they walk him. So we're going to have runners at first and second. And now here's Jimmy Sebring. So now a lot of, now he's the one that hit the home run last time. Uh, Jimmy Sebring's a lefty. Uh, he had four home runs in 1903, batted uh, 277. Uh, Jimmy Sebring is a, a little bit of a baseball baseball legend. Okay, this is he was well he's well known in baseball circles. And there's a there's another base hit. Sebring's gonna get another one, and there's no way I'm gonna get the lead runner. So I'll stop the other runners for advancing. And Pittsburgh ties this game up as Sebring is two for two and two RBIs. Ed Phelps will come up to uh, bat. And he lines right out to first base. And that's the end of the inning. So it's tied at two. We go to the bo bottom of the uh, fourth. Deacon Philippe back on the mound. Buck Freeman. He was He's one for one. And he hits a fly ball to Sebring and right. There's one down. That'll bring up Freddie Parent. Fred Parent hits a ground ball to Leach. And Leach is going to make the play. So that uh, gets him out at first. And now here's Lachance who is, uh, let's see, here's uh, Lachance as a single and an RBI. And this one is going to be a clean ground ball to third. So fifth inning coming up, and uh, we see Deacon Philippe. And this goes on Krieger's catcher's card. But catcher, but Krieger makes, uh, catches the ball in foul territory, one down. And here's Ginger Beaumont. And Ginger Beaumont bumps the ball. Krieger fields it and fires it to first. And uh, sorry, there will be no ice cream for you there at that base. You're out. Two down. Uh, Fred Clark will bat. And that's a clean double. Uh, straightaway double right there. So the Pirates get a man on second. And now Tommy Leach will be up. And he grounds out to Ferris at second. And ends the inning. It's like a small threat, but... Uh, the Americans get out of it. Bottom of the fifth. And here is Hobie Ferris. And there's a fly ball to Sebring and right. One out. Krieger will come up to bat now. He flies out to Sebring again. Uh, Sebring getting a lot of work tonight. Here's Cy Young. And he walks. So again, so Cy Young gets again on base. All right. He's, uh, he's, he, he, he's 0 for 2, but he's been on base twice with two walks. Patsy Daughtry will bat. And he struck him out. We go to the six, still tied at two. Cy Young still pitching strongly. And here's uh, uh, Mr. Uh, H.W. And there's a uh, there's a fly ball to left. And Daughtry will make the catch. One down. And you finally get if you get out Honus Wagner, that's you could you could say you could say it did something. Cy Young versus Honus Wagner. If only we could really see that today. Uh, here's Kitty Bransfield. And he gets struck out by Young. And now we bring up Claude Ritchie. And that's a double. So Ritchie will go to uh, second. And again, uh, Pittsburgh is threatening. So now Jimmy Sebring will bat. And Sebring grounds out to Collins at third. And we go to the bottom of the inning. And we'll see what happens. Collins will come up to bat. And he grounds out to short. One down. Chick Stall. And the split cards come up an extra base hit for Stahl. And this one's rolling to the wall. And he said it might be a stretch of an inside the park home run. Uh, safe chance 90%. Uh, yeah, I'll take a shot at it. And he is clean uh, inside the park home run for the Boston Americans. And it's 3-2. So what a play, what a play by Stahl. Obviously, a man got some speed. An inside the park home run. How about that? Uh, and I'll tell you, they were actually... Um, 
that actually was a common occurrence when it came to home runs back then. Uh, to, of course, and fields were a lot larger. Uh, baseball fields then were bigger. They're not like they are today. Uh, Buck Freeman will bat next. And he hits a fly ball to right to Sebring. Two men down. And now Freddie Parent will come up. And there's a grounder to Wagner at short. But uh, Wagner usually makes the plays. He was a pretty down good fielder. We go to the seventh inning. It's the Boston Americans three and the Pittsburgh Pirates two. And let's see. Cy Young looks like he's got plenty in the tank. Let's go to Ed Phelps who will bat. And split cards come out to a ground out to third base. One down. And now Deacon Philippe will come up. And that is a clean single. Uh, you got so split card come up a 10. So split card is a 10. So Philippe goes to first. Uh, he's not a threat to steal at all. Ginger Beaumont will uh, bat. And there you go. A line drive out to third base. And he's out of there. Two men down. Philippe's still at first. Fred Clark will come up. And there's a base hit for Clark. And uh, he'll stop the other runner from advancing. And they'll just have the runners at first and third. Uh, Philippe is the tying run. Clark is the go-ahead run. So, And now you got Tommy Leach up there. And Tommy and the clutch, they're in clutch mode. So let's see what uh, Tommy Leach does. The pitch to Leach. And it's a ground ball to Ferris at second. And that is the end of the inning. What record did Cleveland Indian John Burnett set in 18 in game? Most hits in a game, nine. Okay. Okay. Sooner or later, I don't know if that's ever going to be broken, but you never know in the game of baseball. Bottom of seven, still 3-2. Candy Lachance is the uh, batter for the Americans. And he walks. So Deacon Philippe gives up a key walk. And that will put him on at first. And let's have a look at Lachance. I want that extra insurance run. He's a th decent threat to steal. He's a B. Uh, Ferris, uh, hit and run a B. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's, let's give us see what happens. Let's try the hit and run. The hit and run is on and it's up to Phelps, the catcher. And it's a wild pitch. Lachance takes second. So he'll go to second. So that works very nicely for me and leaves first base open. So now I'll just swing away with Ferris. And split cards come up a double. Lachance is going to score, and that'll move Ferris to second base. So Boston now leads it 4-2. to two. Lou Krieger will bat. And that's a pop-out to Richie at second, and they finally get one out. And now Cy Young coming up. And there you go, a base hit for Cy Young. So Cy Young not only gets them... To go down on the in, 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 on the mound, he's getting to do it at the plate. Cy Young gets an RBI, brings home a run, and it's now 5-2 Americans. Patsy Daughtry will bat. He pops out to Honus at uh, short. There's two down. And now Jimmy Collins will come up. And Jimmy Collins flies out to left to end the inning. So at the end of seven, it's the Boston Americans five and the Pittsburgh Pirates two. We're going to the eighth. Cy Young looks like he still has it in him, so let's see if we can let's see what he can do here. Honus Wagner, he has flied out twice and hit a base hit. And he's gonna get a clean single. So uh the Pirates start off with a runner on first and Kitty Bransfield. And he can't get the lead. Kitty Bransfield will bat. And there's a ground ball to second. They'll get the force. So Wagner is out, but there is one down. Claude Ritchie. And Richie's going to get a base hit, and we'll stop the other runner from advancing. Just make sure you keep him out there. Runners at first and third, one out. And uh, I don't know. Let's see here. This is uh, Cy Young getting tired. I don't know. Let's check fatigue and see what he says here. Um, let's uh, let's see. Got here someplace. Uh, let's see here. Home. Uh, let's check here. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep Cy Young in there. So, Jimmy Sebring is the batter, and let's see what we can do. And there's now a base hit to Sebring. Bransfield's going to score, and we will stop the other from Bransing. And now it's runners at first and third, but now it's five to three. Uh, well, this is a, this is where you got to think about things. Where I want to take out Cy Young and bring in a reliever. Uh, Ed Phelps is the uh, upcoming batter. He's a righty. So let's take a look at what we got here for pitchers. We've got Deneen, 
Hughes and Gibson. And let's have a look here. Uh, Deneen, Bill Deneen, uh 2.26 ERA. He's got two saves. Uh, Hughes, no saves. Uh, 2.57 ERA. And then there is Norwood Gibson. And he's 3.19. So let's... I'm going to go ahead and bring in Bill Deneen to replace Cy Young. So Bill Deneen will come in to pitch. And he'll go up against Ed Phelps with runners at the corners. So we got to keep, got to plea here. He's running. And we're going to try to, uh, th we're going to try to throw for the runner. And he is out. So a, a big stolen base caught stealing. And uh, in yeah, okay, I, that didn't make any sense, did it? He was caught stealing in seconds. There's two outs. I'm surprised he actually tried to run. All right, you got runners at the corners, and you're down by two runs. You got to get. I know you're trying to start something, but you got to think about that. Uh, Phelps is still the batter, and there's a pop out to Ferris at second. The inning is over. It's Boston five, Pittsburgh three, and we go to the bottom of the eighth. And here's Chick Stahl, who's had a heck of a game. He has a home run. He had a, a inside-the-park home run. And split cards come up a four. This one's going to be, he might have another chance, but I'm not going to advance him this time. I think he'll be happy with the triple. And because you got nobody out, you're up by two. You got to, you let, let, don't, uh, don't want to take the bats out of the other players. Buck Freeman's going to bat. I'll bring him in there. And he strikes out. Freddie Parent will come up, and he grounds out the third. Stahl has to hold, and so now it's up to Candy Lachance. Lachance got a single, ground out, and a walk. So let's see what he does. There's a fly ball to Fred Clark in left, and it's a fly out. We go to the top of the ninth inning, Boston 5, Pittsburgh 3, and game one of the first ever World Series. I'm going to keep Bill Deneen on the mound. He'll go up against Deacon Philippe, and will he bring in a pinch hitter? Yes, they will bring in Fred Karish to pinch in. Let's take a look at him. Fred Karish, 333 average. Uh, let's see, one home run. Uh, only 18 at bats, though. So he's he's pinch hitter, but we will see what he does here. Let's uh, let's make the play. And there's a ground ball to Ferris at second, and Ferris makes the play, one down. And now Ginger Beaumont will come up. And there's a strikeout by Bill Deneen. Two men down. One away from winning the game here is Fred Clark. His last chance. Split cards come up at 19. Ground right back up to Deneen. Throws to first ball game. As the Boston Americans get the first bait World Series win. And they beat the Pittsburgh Pirates 5-3. Let's take a look at that, uh, look at that box score. The 1903 Pirates and the 1903 Boston Americans. Let's see. Chick Stahl was two for four. He was definitely the player of the game, in my opinion. Two for four with an inside-the-park home run. Uh, Cy Young gets the win. Deacon Philippe takes the loss. Uh, let's see. He had a couple of doubles. Uh, uh, Jimmy Sebring hit a home run. Chick Stahl hit his. It was inside the park. A uh, couple of wild pitches. The Americans were three for eight with runners in scoring position. The Pirates are two for, were uh, two for seven. And as it, the, um, as it says here, in a good matchup, it was the Boston Americans 5, the Pittsburgh Pirates 3 at Huntington Avenue grounds. And uh, so that's so they, they take a they will uh, win the first game of the World Series. But as I said, I'm just wanted to show you the uh, present to you the first ever game between World Series ever played between these two teams. And these were the these are the actual lineups that were used then. And. Uh, I had a great time playing this. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, if anybody has any uh, comments or anything that you want me to say to do to improve on how I'm doing this, I know I'm not the best announcer in the world, but I'm just having a blast. So uh, next time I will see you for a replay from the year 1904, and I'll probably do that uh, in a few days. So until then, uh, have a good night, everyone, and uh, stay safe out there.